hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing in your life so i'm back with another video it's based on agri food pilot canada immigration program remember guys it's a federal program so don't if you have already started watching this video don't miss out any part because this video is going to be very very important to learn about this program and how you can apply what are the eligibility requirements how much is the fees processing time and everything so stick around and let's start the video Now, what is the fees? What fees for this program? It starts from one thousand three hundred sixty-five Canadian dollars. I added the word starts because it depends how many applicants are there in your application. If you are coming alone, it's one thousand three hundred sixty-five Canadian dollars. If you are bringing your spouse, your dependent children, then of course the fees will increase. The processing time again it's six to twelve months, but based on your application, if if your application is complete, you have submitted all the documents, might take sooner than that. If IRCC needs further information, then of course the time may increase. The time may vary. So processing time is based on the average calculation that IRCC took to process the application. Now, guys, what are the eligibility requirements? So as you can see on your screen. eligible canadian work experience in one or more of the eligible industries or occupation a full time non seasonal job offer from a canadian employer in one of the eligible industries and occupations client or candidate must meet or exceed language requirements candidate must meet or exceed educational requirements must candidate must have these settlement funds if applicable so candidate must maintain tr status if candidate is in canada and so guys when you say like when i mentioned that you need to prove that you have settlement funds in case if you are already inside canada and if you have a job offer then of course you don't need to prove uh, you don't need to uh, provide the proof of settlement funds but if you are outside canada then yes of course you need to provide the proof of funds that you will be able to survive and your family will be able to survive in canada so special note guys you can see on your screens IRCC will be accepting applications in this program until May fourteenth, two thousand twenty-five. It is very important because this is a pilot program. IRCC wants to check how this program will respond. So, if you are interested in coming to Canada as a permanent resident and you have some experience based on the eligibility requirements. for this agri food pilot canada program then don't miss time and apply today now what are the eligible industries so you can see on your screens industries are classified by north american industry classification system known as n i n a i c s your employer needs to include industry code in your job offer and the industries that are included are meat product manufacturing code is n a i c s 3116 greenhouse nursery and floriculture production including mushroom production the code is n a i c s 1114 animal production excluding aquaculture which includes cattle ranching and farming code is n a i c s 1121 hog and pig farming code is n a i c s 1122 poultry and egg products code is n a i c s 1123 sheep and goat farming code is n a i c s 1124 other animal production code is n a i c s 1129 now i mentioned earlier that the uh, eligible industries and occupations So I covered the industry part. Now, what are the eligible occupations? So, as you can see on your screens, for meat product manufacturing, the code is N A I C S three one one six, and the occupations that are included in this industrial or uh, the industry category 
is NOC 63201, which includes butchers, retail and wholesale. NOC 65202, meat cutters and fishmongers, retail and wholesale. NOC 94141, industrial butchers and meat cutters, poultry preparers and related workers. NOC 82030, Agricultural Service Contractors and Farm Supervisors NOC 84120 Specialized Livestock Workers Sorry, it's not Livestock It's Livestock Workers and Farm Machinery Operators NOC 85100 Livestock Laborers NOC 95106 Laborers in Food and Beverage Processing so those guys, those people who are not sure what is livestock. So livestock is referred to basically the farmers who keep and grow uh, the cattle. Uh, it includes cows, buffaloes. So cattle, sheep, cattle, these are all come in the category of livestock. Now next, uh, you, see, you can see on your screen for the next industry which is for greenhouse nursery and floriculture production includes mushroom production naics 1114 noc 82030 agricultural service contractors and farm supervisors noc 84120 specialized livestock workers and farm machinery operators noc 85100 livestock laborers NOC 85101 Harvesting Laborers. The third industry is for animal production excludes aquaculture. NAICS 1121, 1122, 1123, 1124, and 1129. Eligible occupations are NOC 82030, Agricultural Service Contractors and Farm Supervisors, NOC 84120, Specialized Livestock Workers and Farm Machinery Operators. NOC 85100, Livestock Laborers. NOC 85101, Harvesting Laborers. So I gave you the information, what industries, what industries code, and what are the eligible occupations that you can look for, you can work and you can apply to get your Canadian experience and get the permanent residence afterwards. Now, very important point regarding the annual application limit. So as you can see on your screens, IRCC will process a maximum limit of 2,750 applications each year. We no longer, V means IRCC, no longer use annual limits for individual occupations. Starting on January 1st of each year, IRCC will process applications on first come first served basis. IRCC will refund the fees of if sorry IRCC will refund the fees if IRCC rejects your application because the annual limit has reached. Now what work experience is covered under this program or what is the eligible work experience? So please see on your screen or as you can see on your screens Eligible work experience includes at least one year of cumulative non-seasonal full-time work in the past three years, at least 1,560 hours annually. In one or more of the eligible occupations listed under one of the eligible industries through temporary foreign worker program. Uh, an LMIA or LAMIA with a minimum of 12 month duration must have been submitted by your employer when hiring you. And then proof of work experience includes employer or union reference letter only for unionized positions. Otherwise for non-unionized, it's employment letter, letter of employment you can say T4 and pay stubs now very important point guys you can see on your screen why i mention everything on screen now so that you can pause the video you can take screenshots you can better understand because visual learning is much more better than the verbal learning if i'm just letting you know you might forget but if you are seeing the information on the screen 
it will help you in the longer run. So as you can see on your screen, if you currently have an open work permit, but you used to have a work permit through the temporary foreign worker program, you may have eligible work experience. However, any work experience you gained while holding an open work permit does not count. So you can imagine like you can analyze what kind of work experience work permit will suit you will serve you if you are planning to apply under this program. Now very important what kind of job offer you must have. So as you can see on your screens job offer must meet all the requirements job must be in an eligible occupation listed under one of the eligible industries job must be full-time at least 30 hours per week job must be non-seasonal your employment is permanent not contract with set end date for unionized positions the wage must be determined by the applicable collective agreement for non-unionized positions the wage must meet exceed the job bank's prevailing median wage for occupation listed on your job offer in the province of employment job offer must be outside quebec now what are the language requirements and the educational requirements so you can see on your screens minimum you for the language requirement the minimum requirement is clb4 your language results are valid for two years now for the educational requirement, a Canadian high school diploma is required. If you don't have Canadian education, then an education credential assessment, which is not older than five years is required. Now, what about the settlement funds? So again, if you are inside Canada, if you have a job offer, then you're not required. You may submit the proof of funds to give more weightage to your file to make it more healthier. But if you are outside Canada, showing proof of funds or submitting proof of funds is necessary to prove that you will be able to survive in Canada. Now, so I mentioned about the fees, processing time, educational requirements, minimum requirements, language requirements. Yeah, what industries, occupations, what are the codes that are included? Now, when you have all of your documents ready, how you will apply so you will apply online you will submit your documents once your application is submitted IRCC will ask you to get the biometrics done get the medical done get the police certificate or police verification done once your all the documents are submitted there are only two options either you get approval or you get rejection if you get approval congratulations you are eligible to get the permanent residence in Canada you will complete your you like you will be able to get copr confirmation of permanent residence and then you will complete your permanent residency um, obligations or formalities if ircc for any reason uh, not accepts your application then ircc will let you know in their decision why they took that decision and what you can do next what are the next steps Again, if you are able to overcome those uh, decision, like those reasons for which IRCC did not approve your application, yes, you can uh, apply uh, again. And yes, if you are not able to overcome the reasons, then of course you cannot apply under this program. So this is all about the Agri Food Canada pilot program. Let me know through your comments, how do you like my work? what improvements i can make or if you have any questions about this agri food canada pilot program let me know and you must have seen my name on the screen but again my name is mega ansel i'm registered canadian immigration consultant and if you have any kind of uh, immigration consulting service requirements please do not feel shy or feel free to reach out to us at centillium immigration or team at centillium immigration.com my email address is also mentioned so you can uh, email your query on our main email address which is team at centillium immigration.com and cc to my other email which is mentioned in the description below and don't forget to follow me on my whatsapp channel Yes, I have created my WhatsApp channel in the name of Centillium Immigration with a girl icon. So please follow that. Please follow me on Facebook as well as YouTube. 
yes i am saying this because it's obvious i want you to follow me so that i can provide you more information i feel encouraged that yes viewers are getting some helpful information from me and that encouragement will lead me to make more videos so until then until my next video keep watching keep learning from me from canada life